Hey everyone, Tim from Well Done Homestead here. I am on my way to work and uh, I'm in my wife's car today because it snowed last night and it's uh, it's a better car in the snow than mine is. <laughs> Let's face it. Uh, anyway, so um, I wanted to just take a couple of minutes and just chat with everybody about uh, something that I've been seeing not just in myself, but also honestly in most people. I think most people are struggling with uh, what I'm going to talk about. And that is, I feel like most people are struggling with discouragement and, dis and depression. Um, it's been an extremely difficult last four years, at least. And I think that there's been so many negative things, bad things that have happened over the last four years, that things have come to light, and it's, it's tough. Like, most people are looking at it and saying, what in the world is going on? And I know that there's always been, uh, you know, strife and turmoil and difficulties through the world all the time, like like throughout all of history, and I know that I'm not I'm not foolish about that. I know that, but I feel like most people are looking at things and they're just saying, "What's the point? What's uh, what difference does it make if I contribute? What difference does it make if I, uh, you know?" For some people, it, I mean, suicide is way up. And for, so for some people, it's who, what, what difference does it make if I'm even around? Well, I can tell you this. Every single one of us matter. Every single one, every single one of us matter to our families. We matter to the people that we work with, even though they might drive us crazy. We might drive them crazy. We matter to the people that we go to church with. We matter to the people in our community. You matter. I'm telling you right now, you matter. Most importantly though, we, each of us, matter to the Lord. Jesus died for us. That's how much we matter. He died so that we could have our sins forgiven. And that is probably the most comforting thought. However, I know for some, for some people that's not enough. I know that there's there's some that are just like, it doesn't matter whether or not Jesus died for me. Uh, you know, I've done whatever and I can't forgive myself. I remember feeling that way when I was in high school, my first year in college. I had done some really stupid things and didn't think that I was worth forgiving. I didn't think that Jesus could possibly forgive me for what I'd done. Well, that's just not true. It's just not true. Because if Jesus is the Son of God, and He is, and if God is all-powerful, and He is, then saying that Jesus' sacrifice cannot uh, uh, forgive your sin is putting limitations on the power of God. And that's just, that doesn't work. <laughs> I hope that this is an encouragement to you. Uh, it's meant to be an encouragement. I know that a lot of people are really depressed right now and discouraged. They're looking at the situation in the world, uh, all the wars and all the rumors of wars and just the, the terrible things that are coming out about uh, our, uh, um, not just our government, but other governments like all around the world leadership, terrible things. And I'm just going to say that 
that was written about in the scriptures there will be wars and rumors of wars and those are just the beginning of the birth pains okay stay strong don't give up don't feel alone because you're not alone you might feel alone but you're not alone and I'm not just talking about the fact that the Holy Spirit's with you though he is with you I'm saying so many people are feeling this exact same way and I'm going to be honest I'm one of them I do feel like that I'm going to hear I'm right here to tell you that we can do it through the power of Jesus we can do it we can make it don't give up don't quit it'll be all right I can tell you this I've been reading through Psalms with my family and that has been very encouraging I know they're simple but I'm telling you something about the Psalms it can encourage you when you're in your in your deepest point I know I keep talking about being prepared in multiple different ways uh, and I'm going to tell you right now you should be in the word of God because that's preparing you just as much as having food just as much as having water just as much as having uh, a preparedness plan whatever being in the word is preparedness get in the word guys start reading the Bible start in Psalms if you need some encouragement start there that's it for me today. Stay prepared.